Fibroid tumors sound much worse than they are. About 60% of all women have fibroids, and the individual fibroid itself is a non-cancerous mass. Common, yes, but welcome, no. For many women, they present problems. Heavy bleeding, irregular bleeding, pressure symptoms. If they're really large, they can push forward on the bladder and cause, you know, urgency, frequency of urination. They can also complicate getting pregnant. Number one, if there are large numbers of fibroids that are all within the lining of the uterus called the endometrium, then it can make it difficult for pregnancy to implant. The second complication, if they are growing near the tube or where the tube comes into the uterus, can kind of block off that, that entrance and then the sperm can't get up into the fallopian tube. For those reasons, many women want their fibroids out. The procedure is called a myomectomy, but women have to balance the overall benefit against the prospect of surgery. New robotic techniques are making that decision easier. Absolutely. So the Da Vinci robot is minimally invasive surgery, smaller incisions on the abdomen in order to have a shorter recovery time. The robot offers doctors much more dexterity, and by operating through a series of small poke holes, patients have much less trauma to the body, especially compared to traditional open surgery. If you have open surgery, usually we tell people they can't drive for two weeks. You're able to go back to work in six weeks. As far as robotic surgery, those people are out of the hospital within 24 hours. Most people are back to work within two weeks. Location of the fibroids is a factor in whether someone is a candidate for robotic myomectomy, but for the right person, it can make their decision and surgery simpler. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.